Hey YouTube family and GN subs, hope you are off to a wonderful summer uh, and uh, you've taken your vacation. I know a lot of people are gone out for vacation, but uh, I have something really special today. This is all about STEM. It just got a lot easier to come to the US if you are in a STEM profession uh, as well. If you are graduating from the US in STEM, we are trying to compete with Canada now to keep you here and in fact, there is just a new expansion of STEM occupations. We're gonna cover those. We're gonna cover previous occupations in STEM uh, that expanded uh, to 22 different occupations. So stay put here. I'm gonna give you all the non-immigrant visa options and green card options under STEM and under these expanded categories. So a lot to get to today and I'm just gonna shout out real quick my email address because that's the only way to get me, hrg at graylaw.com. Go to graylaw.com, see who I represent. I promise you'll be impressed, all right? So let's get at it. So last week, uh, July 12th, the Biden administration announced eight more occupations to be included within STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. I know a lot of you already know that, but I just want to break it down, make it very simple here. So generally, the occupations in STEM were very limited, all right? So this new expansion includes eight occupations. We're going to go over those in a little bit. Uh, also, in January of 2022, that was the big expansion. 22 different occupations were included uh, within STEM. All right, so if you are an F1 student in the US and you complete a field of study in STEM, you're actually able to get three years of post-practical training. It's called OPT. You get an initial 12 months, and then if you're working in STEM, you can get an additional 24 months. So that's a lot of time, folks, three years to be working in the US why did we do this? We did this because we were losing a lot of foreign talent to Canada. Those guys up there have a matching program um, for STEM uh, occupations. And so we wanted to compete. Biden understood this. So he's doing it. So definitely take advantage if you are in a STEM uh, field or STEM occupation. All right, let's talk a little bit about the eight new occupations. I put a link in the description box below. It's the Federal Register. Just go down it. You can read uh, some of these occupations. I'm going to just name a few, right? Landscape architect, right? So the study is in science within geology, hydration, etc. That's why that occupation uh, was expanded. Robotics and automation engineering, all right? With a lot of this AI stuff, folks, yeah, it's happening, right? So they've expanded uh, to include that occupation in the STEM field. You also got composite material technology, all right? Again, this is all stuff that's happening in the future with the electric cars, et cetera. You know, we need a lot of different types of light material to be able to do that, included within the STEM uh, occupation. I've had, you know, clients in the automobile industry, in the aerospace industry, et cetera. Important stuff to have composite material folks out there uh, doing their thing in technology. All right, I want you also to take a peek at the 22 previous uh, occupation expansion that was done January 2022. I put a link in the description box below, Federal Register. Check out the occupation. So you got tons of new occupations now you might qualify uh, under STEM. All right, so real important stuff now. If you're coming to the U.S. or you're graduating from a university in the U.S., this is so important, folks. You have so many options now for non-immigrant visas and immigrant visas. And we're going to run through these quickly. Um, just to give you an idea, really expansive, right? So on the non-immigrant temporary visa N, so generally what happens is you're on the F1 student visa, right? You get three years of post-practical training. While you're under this three-year designation, you can try for an H-1B visa, a visa for professionals. Certainly those within the STEM field now qualify uh, for the H-1B. The H-1B is a lottery. So while you're in that three-year period, March is the first date to apply for the H-1B. So you can try to register and see if you get chosen in the lottery. You got three shots at it, right? You got three marches to be able to try to get that H-1B. That really helps because I've had clients multiple times try to get that H on the second or third try. They actually got it. There's an O-1 visa, extraordinary ability in the science and business. 
Um, again, if you're in a STEM field, you might qualify for this O-1, certainly if you've been in the U.S. working uh, or if you're coming to the U.S. to work in STEM. Remember, uh, extraordinary ability, you need to have some experience, right? And so we have foreigners coming to the U.S. to work in STEM. I do O-1s all the time for them. It's a great visa option. There's an L-1 visa if you're an intercompany transferee, foreign company, you want to be transferred to the U.S., you're working in STEM. Absolutely, it's a visa option for you. Fantastic stuff. There's an E-2 visa, investor visa, if you're coming to invest in STEM fields, in technology. Absolutely, E-2 may be the way to go. Again, I do tons of these. So tons of non-immigrant in STEM field. Let's talk about the immigrant visa. EB-1, right? You got EB-1A, B, and C. EB-1A, you got, again, extraordinary ability in science and business. EB-1B, professors and researchers, if they're in STEM, could have occupations that absolutely qualify. Uh, EB-1C, again, multinational executives uh, where they're working uh, in technology in the STEM field. EB-2 exceptional ability without a national interest waiver, then you got EB-2 with the national interest waiver. I've done great videos on the NIW national interest waiver. You don't need a job offer. Check out those videos, it's absolutely great. You got Schedule A Group 2 in science. I spoke about that, I got a great video on that. That is absolutely an option. Expanded now with the STEM occupations. EB-3, the normal labor certification in STEM, absolutely the option for you. All right, what I've done, I've put a link in the description box below to the USCIS website, outlines, delineates these options that I just spoke about. Fantastic stuff, folks. Thanks so much for watching Gray Law TV. Click below, like, and subscribe. You can get these videos about these options in my playlist. I have all my content outlined in my playlist. Also frequently asked questions. You can go there, find your question, click on it, and I guarantee you get great content. Hey, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.